Roll for Crit presents How to Play, And Then We Held Hands, in five minutes or less, or more. And Then We Held Hands is the cooperative game for two players who want to experience the trials and tribulations of an actual relationship without having to be in an actual relationship. Designed by David Chirkop and Yannick Massa and published by Luda Creations. Players will start the game with their tokens on opposite sides of the board and a set of six emotion cards each. Your goal is to maneuver your player token in sync with your partner to complete objective cards and eventually reach the center of the board, all without actually talking to each other or discussing strategy out loud. It's kind of a passive-aggressive relationship. Your six emotion cards will be laid out in front of you so that they overlap, with only the left or right halves of the cards showing. If you're on a space in the center of the board, as you will be when the game starts, you get to decide at the end of your turn which halves of the cards you want to be showing. If at the end of your turn you're on either the left or right halves of the board from your perspective, then the sides of the cards shown should be the same as the side you're on. You'll have three decks of objective cards. When you're ready to start, flip the top card of the first deck. This will give you a color. You or your partner must end your turn on a node of that color in order to complete said objective. On your turn, you get to move your token. Simply discard an emotion card from either your pile or your partner's pile with the appropriate color showing. For example, if you want to reach a green node, discard a green card. Remember that only the half of the card currently visible is available to you. No matter whose card you used, it always goes into your own personal discard pile. Each time you move, you'll need to adjust your balance scale. When the game starts, your balance will be at zero. Each time you move to either a green or blue node, your balance increases by one, and each time you move to either a black or red node, your balance decreases by one. If your scale is at negative two, you won't be able to move to a black or red space again until you raise it up. Same goes for moving to a blue or green node. If your scale is at positive two, you'll need to move it down. If you manage to end your turn at a balance of zero, you get to refill your cards up to six from the main deck. Otherwise, your cards remain as they are. As long as you abide by the rules of balance and the cards available to you, you can move your token as much as you want to on your turn. However, you cannot move back to the same node during the same turn or pass through the other player. And you'll want to make sure that you leave cards for your partner to be able to move on the next turn. If you end on the same color node as the current objective card, it's completed. Discard it and flip a new one face up from the current objective deck. At the start of the game, you will only be able to travel around the outer ring of the board. Once you've gotten through that first objective deck, then you'll be able to move in and out of the second ring. Deck two objectives must be completed with nodes on this second ring. The same goes for the third objective deck and the third inner ring. Also, after the first and second objective decks are completed, check to see which player has more cards in their discard pile. Whoever does shuffles those cards back into the main emotion deck for the next round. When you've fully completed all three decks of objectives, you and your partner must reach the center of the board on consecutive turns. You can use any color card to reach the center, but your balance must be at zero for it to count as a win. You lose if you can't manage this, or if at any point either player is unable to make a valid move because of their balance scale or a lack of available cards. If you like a little extra drama in your dating life, you can use the argument variant. In this mode, objective cards with gray bars on the sides are arguments. Unlike normal objectives, these must be completed by both players using the same node on consecutive turns. Then, the most recent player chooses an adjacent space to land on, since you can't share one. Bars of varying lengths let you choose which ones to ignore, so you can adjust your difficulty level. Just like a real relationship. Don't forget, you're not allowed to speak about the game or any strategies you're considering to your partner during play. This is a game about being observant and attentive to your partner's needs without them having to tell you what they're looking for, so good luck with that. In conclusion, move your token, complete objectives, stay balanced, reach the center, and become a happy couple. Or a sad couple. Or angry, enraged, betrayed, depressed, resigned, ambivalent. Yeah, let's just shoot for ambivalent. That's And Then We Held Hands in a Nutshell. Did you get all that? Make sure you like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. Before it's too late!